Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So, um, today's video is going to be a little bit different as we are going to be doing kind of like a review. I did test this product out a little bit before we started the video. And the product that I'm talking about is the Aoyuktai, Aoyuktai, uh, keypad for Procreate. So they did give this product to me for free, but I am going to do my best to give you guys just an honest review and to talk about the ups and downs of using something like this alongside on your iPad on Procreate because this is supposed to be a numpad that's specifically made for having shortcuts um, and just like keys and stuff meant for Procreate. So I am going to show you guys how this works in general first and then we'll get into drawing an illustration today probably. Probably something small. I'm feeling a little bit burnt out recently. I've been wanting to just work on other things that are not like video related or even just drawing related in general. So yeah, maybe I'll do a video talking about like other hobbies that I do that is not focused on drawing. I honestly don't think I hit burnout that easily in my case because when I get tired of drawing for I guess like work and for like other people and stuff I like to draw for myself for fun usually so to take a break from drawing I do more drawing um, but there are like yeah it's like two other hobbies that I kind of like dabble in that I consider like a hobby but I don't do it often enough for me to consider it like me taking a break from drawing but I'll show you guys anyways in a different video where I can talk about it because it is a more of like creative and still artsy-ish related hobby. So I'll show you guys in a different video. But let's get on to Procreate and I'm going to show you guys what these shortcuts and everything does um, really quickly. Okay, before we start actually, I wanted to show you guys a close-up of the actual um, key numpad or keypad. So you can see that's fairly thin. It's actually super light and it's a just a plastic material. It does feel sturdy, so I don't worry about that. It does come with a cord for you to charge it. And it says, I think for it to charge 100%, it takes two hours. And then it has the on off, on off button here. So you'll just basically turn it on and when it flashes blue, like flash, like flashing blue then it will be in pairing mode and you can connect it to your ipad so i'm going to show you guys that this is kind of showing you like the menus and stuff as well as the bluetooth if you hold the command button this is this is to full screen procreate i believe this is to open up your layers this is to delete a layer increase brush size decrease brush size brush size you have your quick menu you have your brush and your eraser you have the color wheel or your color setting, whatever you have it set. I have it set to the color wheel. You have undo and redo. You have, um, this one's to switch colors. So this is from like foreground to background color, which I find really helpful. You have the selection tool. You have the transform tool, HSB, which is like your hue, saturation, and brightness. And this is the color balance. And then this is the eyedropper. And then command plus any of these little buttons to have like a blue letter next to it. It will do a different command, um, but yeah. So let's go into Procreate. Okay, for the sake of showing you guys the keypad in view, I have shuffled my iPad over so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, I just opened up a normal canvas and I am going to, I'm gonna show you guys how the keypad works. So you can see that when I make a brush mark here, you can do undo. Undo, 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 undo. And then this one is redo. You can hit the brush key and it'll open up your brushes. Or if you're already on the eraser, then if you hit the brush, it'll switch to brush. You hit eraser, it hits your eraser. If you click it again, it will open up the menu. Um, so if you click this one, hopefully you guys can see my buttons. This will toggle your menu buttons for your layers. This one's for your color wheel or whatever you have for color selection. This is to increase brush size or decrease and then increase. You can see it jumps up by a lot. Um, if you want it to do a smaller amount, you have to hit command plus the button and it'll go like by a much smaller margin. Um, if you hold command, it'll pop up all these like little things. So if you wanted to connect your own keyboard, you can refer to this menu and kind of make your own kind of like keys or combinations for this. You have your HSB slider, which is really nice. Um, eyedropper is really nice because all I have to do is hold and it click like this, so it's much quicker. Um, yeah, and switching colors would be a lot easier, so... 
Makes it a lot easier if you're saving colors. But yeah, I'm going to see if I can draw like this with this in the frame so you guys can see it. And I'll talk about, about more about how I use this alongside with the iPad and whether or not I will continue to use it. Because I've been so used to using Procreate with just one hand basically. I usually zoom in and out with the same hand. I color pick with the same hand. I know some people work like this. Um, they undo and they zoom in with your other hand and then with whatever your dominant hand with drawing is is just purely for drawing. I pretty much work just with my right hand. I find it a lot easier much quicker. Um, so this hand's usually just quite idle but let's see if it putting it near the keypad will be much easier for a workflow. Okay, I don't know where exactly I left off. I decided to take just a whole break and I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit this. So if this is just randomly inserted in the middle of everything, then here it is. Um, I think I mentioned that I was gonna draw some kind of fan art or some more of a finished illustration today, but I feel like because my brain is like mush this past like week and a half, uh, I think I'm just gonna sketch sketch whatever, probably OC stuff, and then yeah, we'll see where it leads me. I am going to turn on page assist and maybe we'll just keep it to like an hour and a half or so of just sketching and we'll see how far I can get because yeah, I don't know if it's just because lack of sleep or I'm just tired or it's burnout at this point, but let's just see how much we can get done. So I have the keyboard or the keypad on this side. Um, just so you guys know that I'm using it. So I have my iPad kind of just shoved onto the side. Hopefully it won't be too distracting. It's a quick side profile. I'm not sure if I'm going to talk a lot. Like I said, I feel very out of it. So I'm gonna draw Masaki. It, maybe like kind of like a continuation of last time. I'm not sure how many pages I'm gonna do or if I'm gonna color these per se. <laughs> so it's hilarious. This is why you have to give your characters enough of the back of the skull, otherwise it's gonna look ridiculous. I don't like the cold weather is kind of... leaving? It did snow earlier today, so I feel like I'm in the mood again to draw... warmer clothing again? Let's get practice drawing Masaki and I'll prepare myself to draw like um, the reference sheets eventually. Like I said, um, eventually I'll show you guys my other hobbies. <laughs> he looks younger. I'm trying to figure out. His, his face looks a little squat, um, but I don't want to extend his chin too much. Okay, I wanted to include like a voiceover portion because I don't think I said in a very coherent way, in a very cohesive way either, um, my thoughts and opinions on using the Aoikite, um keypad for Procreate. So basically, personally, um, I probably won't be using it that often only because like i said the way how i approach procreate and how i draw is very weird i only use the one hand to do every basically every gesture so it kind of renders a lot of the shortcuts for my left hand very useless but um, i do find that using the undo and redo sometimes it's a little bit more convenient and same with the um switching from the brush and the eraser so switching from the brush and the eraser i find is the most convenient um because i don't have to physically reach up into the upper right hand corner to switch brushes um i find changing the size more accurately is easier by actually going onto the slider but i think if you have more of like presets or um 
have more consistency in terms of how you work, maybe the brush size increasing and decrease won't be an issue for you. I also find that the HSB slider and the color balance much more easier to access this way, so you don't have to go through the many different menus to do so. But I think if you work with two hands on the iPad or you're new to the whole Procreate thing, and maybe the hidden menus and functions might deter you, then this might be a great option for you to test out and try out to help speed up your workflow or make the workflow a little bit more familiar compared to using it on like maybe like on a normal tablet on the desktop or something. So yeah, I probably will like put in other points throughout the video if I can find them while I'm editing this, but if not, then that's kind of my opinion on it. Try to vary up the sizes. I think that always looks nice when you have like several doodles. Maybe I'll draw a few with like my other OCs, like Masaki interacting with them. <laughs> I like, forgot to think of something that he could be resting against. Guess if we make him look like he's laying. downwards like this instead of leaning it's 12 o'clock which means that this kicked in and I didn't notice once again can I make the hair like flare outwards this one still looks a lot younger. I guess if you have shorter hair, kind of just sprawls out like this. think about his hair too much but I guess his hair like his hair wouldn't be really neat right we just paint um the HSB slider Yeah, so while I'm working with the Aoktai, Aoktai um, numpad or the keypad, I am noticing that, I don't know if it's because I've been too familiarized with the um, shortcuts and kind of just the gestures of using Procreate. I know some people don't like using Procreate because of the hidden it's like stuff is more hidden rather than like out in the open so i feel like sometimes it's harder to learn if you're just trying to get into it really quickly um because it's not like the same as using a lot of other mainstream programs such as like paint tool sci clip photoshop things that have like menus out in the open and i know a lot of people like using ibis paint um, because it's easier to transition um, but using this might help you out because it's similar to being able to use your shortcuts on like other programs. I've been really liking the look of leaving the edges a little bit blank where there is more light and stuff. But I don't think it works with the canvas I'm using because my canvas is quite... A little bit closer to a mid-tone, I think, rather than like a brighter color. Once again, his hoodie is more of a, like a light gray color, but it's harder to color it here. So my background color is a little bit too neutral. 
and similar in value to what I want his sweater to be. I didn't realize I didn't set this to multiply. There we go. Now things are looking a lot cuter. I, li I really like when the sketches um, colors are a lot softer, so. I'll probably post these doodles eventually. I feel like I didn't post those other Masaki doodles. Quick shadow. His teeth look really yellow. I'll grab this color and lightly go over his hair. So put the shade in this hair. He looks like an entirely different character this way. But like I said, I don't think if you like if you have bangs, there's no way your hair stays in place when you sleep. Yeah, I don't think I was in the mood to color. I think I just had mostly fun just sketching stuff out, so I don't know if the next batch will color. Something about this I'm not enjoying. Shadow color really quickly. Then we need his green eyes. Hmm, yeah, I don't know if I like the color. We'll just leave it for now. I will move on and we'll do another the sketching portion, but I'm not sure if I'll color these ones. Koji has a bit bigger ears. Kind of make him look like he's merging out of this corner. Like I said, like most of my OCs, other than like my new OC, um, I usually have like a pattern to their hair. Let me which makes it easier for me to sketch them out. That's the weirdest question mark I've ever seen. Masaki's hand on top of his head. I might still do that. Which means that I might have to get rid of part of his hair. <laughs> he's, he's really gripping it. Maybe not. Maybe his hand won't be there. We'll leave Koji's hair alone. <laughs> Look at they're just snooping. <laughs> there is one doodle I wanted to redo. I don't think I have the energy to do it today. Sometimes I forget to give Koji like sharper eyes. Tell 
It doesn't look like he's looking... This way. <laughs> Looks like he snapped his neck. See, I don't know what outfit to give him. We really have to do a Koji um, changing his outfit video soon. Raise his shoulders, which means his hoodie is gonna be bumped. So I feel like Masaki's not the type to yell at Koji. So um, I might make this Sato <laughs> arguing with Koji. I guess they're not arguing. They look like they're having some kind of discussion. <laughs> Sato's gonna pick a fight with a 12 year old. <laughs> Sato her usual hairstyle. bit bigger, which is not what I want. <laughs> Just imagine these two are sneaking to get like snacks or something from Sato's place. <laughs> she catches Koji. Last doodle. I'm gonna call it a day. More hand. So I guess they're making Masaki look like he's getting caught. So easy for me to shorthand Masaki. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, in terms of using this, I think it would be great for people who are more um, wanting to use shortcuts like this. I think I had no issues using shortcuts on Procreate as the gestures. I do think there's some convenient ones, like also, let's see, the transform or transform and selection tool, also the hue, saturation, and brightness. So if you, as soon as you click it, it pops up this menu, which is a lot quicker than doing this. <laughs> Going to here, hit hue and saturation brightness. It's just much quicker to have one button to do that. And since I use it to change my sketch lines often, um, it's definitely more easier to have it like that. Um, something I didn't really talk about is the switching of color. I usually use this a lot in Paint Tool Sai, but I don't really use it in Procreate. Thus, why I don't really see the need to use it here. I think a lot of these would work with people who have a better workflow in maybe Paint Tool Sai and Clip Studio Paint who are transferring. I think if you're like me and you use shortcuts via only your one hand, like you tap to undo or you color pick or you pinch and zoom in with your one hand, then I feel like this becomes a little bit more useless other than maybe the hue, saturation, brightness, the selection, and the transform tool. So yeah, I think that's that's kind of like my opinion on the Aoktai Ao 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 keypad. I do think that this would be beneficial for a lot of people. It's just, for me, it doesn't really fit with my workflow. 
so yeah if you're interested in picking one of these up i'll leave the, this like a link in the description to their website um where you can pick one of these up or look up the price or just like check out whatever models they have because i do think it works for a lot of people it just for me it doesn't really work because i do everything with the one hand so this hand is usually rendered kind of useless it's kind of just here if you watch like my previous videos and stuff you know that this hand doesn't do that much um because i pinch and zoom like this often i also color pick with the same hand so yeah okay i wanted to see if this works in ibis paint or not okay so yes it does so even though this says it's specifically for procreate um you can actually use it with ibis paint so okay so on ibis paint um if you do happen to pick this up the, basically the only two buttons that really work here are undo and redo um, let me see if control and copy work um, so let's select this yes okay so yeah this works so you can cut and paste things really easily here with the same tools so the ones that I've noticed that work with ibis paint are the undo the redo the um control c which is like command plus this one and then command plus this one so it's control or it's copy and paste and cut that will also work on here um because of how this is programmed it is tailored towards the shortcut keys for procreate which um i don't really remember what the color like the combinations are and i'm not sure if there's a way for you to change the setting so that it fits with it but if anyone knows if that's possible, then do let me know. But if you do kind of want a keypad that has undo, redo, control, paste, and all of those stuff, you could use this with um, Ibis Paint, which could be very interesting. Um, just remember that not all the keys work with it because this is meant for Procreate. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and sorry that I didn't do anything too detailed or spectacular today. Um, I've been feeling really out of it lately and I, like I said, I'm not sure if it's like burnout or if I'm just, I, I just need a break or something. Um, yeah, I've been trying my best to go back to some of the hobbies that I've kind of like abandoned. Maybe next week I'll do like a compilation of my hobbies and stuff. So I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what I'm working on. I don't know if you guys can tell what this is or who this is. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next time with another video. Bye. Hi guys. Ooh, ooh.